up, y'all? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come to my channel and check out a video. Any support that you give this video is truly appreciated. Whether you like, subscribe, share, just whatever support you give, I truly appreciate it. But most importantly, I appreciate your time. Over the weekend, I watched Rebel Ridge starring Aaron Pierre. It's actually a really good action movie on Netflix. It's not like the loud, boombastic super super crazy all kind of stunts and like shoot them up bang bang action movies of today it's more of a cerebral action thriller movie kind of like a little bit of a throwback it's a really good movie i think it has a lot of really good payoffs aaron pierre paul is i think he's been a star in the making this might be like his breakout 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 role he was really good in this movie of course this led to conversations it's led to fan castings people are casting aaron pierre in a lot of different superhero comic book movie roles which it makes sense in this movie one of the greatest things that he did wasn't the action he did action fairly well he, he could pull the action off He's a big guy, he's a physical looking guy, so he can pull it off. What he displayed was that quiet intensity, that simmer before the explosion, that build up before the explosion. That's what Aaron Pierre did really well in this movie. That is what could get him a superhero movie role. The question is, which one? We know that he had previously been cast in Blade, possibly to play Dracula. That fell through because Marvel unfortunately is fumbling that. The DCU could snatch him up. Aaron does look like a light-skinned Jon Stewart from the Justice League animated series. Even with the eyes. Even the eyes kind of put you in the mind of Jon Stewart. I've heard they're considering him possibly. So we'll see. If the DCU doesn't snatch him up for either Jon Stewart, Val Zod, or Martian Manhunter, the MCU should double back and give him something. I know a lot of people have talked about Casper Cole, White Tiger, but I think they should double back to him and give him something. I don't know about Blue Marvel either. Blue Marvel may need to be older. It depends on what route they're going. Speaking of fan casting, David Johnson. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. His performance in Alien Romulus as Andy might be one of the best performances of the year, 2024. The way that he was able to switch, to turn that switch on, give us a whole new person, a whole new character. When we kind of saw him as one way from the start of the movie, and he switched it over to another way, and then there was another switch. The MCU especially should look towards him. This may be a stretch. This may be far-fetched, but I'm going to throw this out there. All three of these can be very, very far-fetched, but David Johnson could play all three of these characters in the MCU. First... Kang or Kang variant so we can finish out Kang's story. Even though I liked Jonathan Major's performance as Victor Timely, Andy is an elevation of what Jonathan was doing in that role. That person who you think is doesn't have it all there. Andy was a synthetic. He wasn't a true human. David Johnson was still able to pull that off and he did it really well. You could have him finish out that Kang story. He could do really well as He Who Remains, a variant. He could do really well as Victor Timely, and he could do really well as Kang. He could be kind of robotic. I think he could pull that off. The other one, if for whatever reason, I still want to see Mahersha Ali as Blade, I think that he could pull that off. I think Dave was able to display a very quiet intensity that could be seen in Blade, or as could be seen in the Blade character. Lastly, I know a lot of people have said Damson Idris has been the role. Michael, who is in Top Boy, people have said him. I think that's what his name is. But David could be... T'Challa, Black Panther, recast. For some reason, he doesn't look exactly like him, but I see Chadwick in David. For some reason, I just see Chadwick in him. His eyes. There is character in his eyes, and he knows how to use his eyes very well in his portrayals. Just from what I've seen, I've only seen him as Andy in Alien Romulus, but he had a way with his eyes. His eyes were able to say a lot, and I think Chadwick did that a lot in Black Panther. And as T'Challa, even though this is a stretch, David would be a perfect casting for... Kang and Kang variants, Blade or T'Challa. All three are huge stretches. And what's interesting is technically both David and Aaron are within the Disney umbrella. Aaron is playing Mufasa in the new Lion King movie and David has already been in Alien Romulus. Possibly two highly successful movies. With the rumors going around about Blade and Armor Wars, they could use some injection of some black male character. Double injection of it. What do you guys think? Does... Aaron Pierre, does he stay away from the superhero movies after his experience with Blade? Does he go to the DCU? 
does he circle back to Marvel? David Johnson. Should he be looked at for Marvel and superhero roles? Possibly Black Panther, Kang, or Blade. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out this video. I really do appreciate it. Hope you enjoy. If you like this video, please feel free to check out some other videos on my channel. Thank you. Have a good one and be blessed.